Hey guys, it's Ace Special Cool. Scam School. The Barakai Scam. You guys, here in the Philippines, everybody's heard of Barakai. It's the number one destination beach resort area in all the Philippines. Now, some people have heard of Palawan, but I've lived here long enough. Everybody talks about Barakai. I've been there myself. So we're going to talk about the Barakai scam. All right, number one, rainy season. A lot of people forget about this, but there's a rainy season here in the Philippines, and it's July through November. And when we're talking about rainy season, we're talking about typhoons, wind, and it's just horrible weather. I had a buddy that he fell for this scam. You know, there's, there's guys out there that are like, hey, uh, cheap rentals, you know, cheap Airbnbs or, you know, apartments or places to stay, you know, and it's a really good deal. You know, you, you know, 300 US dollars a month or, you know, and it sounds really nice, like in a place like Barakai. And then you find out that it's July through November, it's during the rainy season. So he fell for that scam. He's hanging out, and then there's typhoons and wind, and it rains every day. It rained 10 days in a row, nonstop, and he's all bundled up in his rental, and he's not enjoying, you know, the, the sun, the sand, the beach, the, the coconut trees, and, you know, things like that. So, you guys, make sure, you know, here it is, January 2024, go to Barakai January through May. You're gonna be better off. It's gonna be blue sky and sun. Number two, the seafood scam. Seafood market is a total ripoff. There's a reason everyone is trying to sell it. You guys, I love seafood, but to be honest, the seafood's gonna be inflated prices. You're in a tourist area, people on vacation, they have money. They are just going to blow up the prices on this seafood and the Filipino locals, they don't even buy the seafood because it's just too high of a price. You know, you can get seafood cheaper in a lot of other areas besides <laughs> a big tourist destination. So, so don't go for the seafood scam. Make sure you're smart about that. Number three. Non-stop pestering by salespeople along the beach. It's annoying. Middleman getting your money. You guys, when you go to Brock Eye, there's going to be salespeople up and down the beach, and they're going to try and sell you magnets, bracelets, just all these knickknacks, souvenirs, and they're just going to keep non-stop pestering you. You can leave your hotel and walk to like Starbucks to try and get a coffee and you're going to get hit by, you know, 20 times. They're not going to leave you alone. They're just going to, oh, there's a tourist. He's got money. Let's get him. And it's just, it gets annoying, you know, and then there's a lot of salespeople that want you to do, you know, a banana boat, parasailing, island hopping, you know, four wheeling. They're also going to have the, the menu of things to do, and they're also going to be pestering you. So it's just like, oh my gosh, be prepared for the, the non-stop pestering scam. Trying to get your money. Number four, land for sale scam. It's nearly impossible for Filipinos to buy land in Barakai. So you guys, us foreigners, we have zero chance. So don't think that you can buy land or invest in property in Barakai. Forget it. Barakai is for vacation only. Go there and just enjoy January through May. <laughs> but don't go there to try and buy land or property. That's not going to work. Number five, the buffet trap. Most buffets there are going to use cheap food. Order off a menu. I've been to Baraka. I stayed at the Henan Hotel. They have a wonderful buffet. But just keep in the back of your mind, it looks all pretty and nice. But, you know, it's at the end of the day, you're going to get better food if you order off a menu. All right, number six. 
Bar Girls have been to Barakai 10 times already. You're not the first. You guys, I've met several bar girls here in Angeles City, Philippines, in the Walking Street area. And they, they've all been to Barakai. They've been to these places. And, you know, they're going to come across like, oh, I've never been there. Oh, this is my first time. Let's go. And you're going to think like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to bring a Filipino girl to Barakai. She's never been. And it's like, she's been there more than you. And, you know... Don't bring sand to the beach. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But, you know, they've already been there. They've already been there. I know a girl. She's ever, she's been there four times already. I looked, I stalked her Facebook page and you can see that, okay, she's been there 2017, 18, 20, 23. All right. Number seven. Being lured to stay anywhere not on station one, two, or three. So you guys, there's going to be the scam of they're gonna try and get you to stay somewhere else away, far away from the main area. Station one, two, or three is the main tourist areas where all the tourists are gonna hang out. You're gonna be close proximity to the beaches, you know, all the tourist shops, restaurants, souvenir shops, coffee shops, all that stuff. But do not take the bait. You 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 know it's just safer. You're gonna be in the public eye. Don't be lured to stay anywhere else other than station one, two, or three. I just want to give you that hint. So the Barakai scam. Now there's a solution to the Barakai scam. Let's go over this. The solution is. Go through January through May. The weather's gonna be nicer. You're not gonna get caught up in the rainy season and the typhoon season. Stay at a hotel on the beach at station two or three. Do not get lured away. Go to dive gurus for scuba diving and to get a certification. Dive gurus. Use my Barakai guide for sunset cruise and island hopping. So if you want to do scuba diving, island hopping, things like that, go to some reliable sources. Don't fall for anything outside that, guys. Uh, like I said, Barakai is super nice. It, it's like the Hawaii of, you know, the Philippines. It, it's beautiful. It's a must see for sure. I highly recommend it, but you just gotta be smart. And hopefully this helps all you guys planning your next trip to Barakai. Thanks for watching this video. This is Ace Patrick Cool, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.